Hello guys! Welcome for today's video. And I am Mizel C. Mihan, a third year taking up the course Bachelor of Elementary Education at Visaya State University. Today, I will present my action research study which is entitled as Enhancing English Language Reading Proficiency of Grade 2 Pupils in Guadalupe Elementary School by Weekend Chattering. And this is the content of today's video, which are the research problem and questions, research interventions, research result, and research conclusion. Research problem. English is considered as a secondary language in the Philippines. Hence, English language was included in the school curriculum as a subject of the Filipino learners to study. Then, reading is a basic skill learners should acquire as it serves as the scaffolding in learning. However, it is alarming since Philippines rank as the lowest out of 79 countries participating in reading comprehension at the 2018 Program for International Pupil Assessment or the so-called PESA. Since the occurrence of the COVID-19 pandemic, the pupils in Guadalupe Elementary School possess low reading proficiency in English language. This is due to struggle in self-study and other environmental factors in the pupil's home. Moreover, due to low reading proficiency in English language, it can hinder the pupil in understanding the lessons and the instructions of their learning materials. It is because low reading proficiency is equal to low reading comprehension. So, the studies aim to answer the following question. First, how the COVID-19 pandemic affect the reading proficiency of the learners? Second, what is the current performance level of the learners regarding their reading proficiency? Third, what is the significant difference of the performance level of the learners regarding their reading proficiency after the week in class sessions? So, this is my research intervention on how, how, on how I can improve the student's performance. So, my activity is read out loud, which I present, at which I present familiar words to read through the use of flashcards. Then, play word games, which I will use pictures to visualize the meaning of the word for better understanding of the word being read. Then, third, the book short reading. The chosen book will rotate and one by one, pupils will task to read a word on a sentence of the story. And lastly, the fourth, the summative test. Asking questions and making pupils retell of what they have read through the writing and oral recitation. So, on my first week implementation is the reading out loud. So, in my whiteboard, I write the alphabet and I task the pupils to identify what is the pointed alphabet and I let them, them make the sounds of the corresponding alphabets. This strategy will help them to learn the, to read the word by connecting the letter sound to another letter will be improving their reading proficiency on my second day implementation is the play word which i provided a pictures and a word so the pupils will task to identify the picture corresponding the given word on the third week implementation which is the book shared reading so, I have provided a story which is entitled as The Ants and the Grasshopper. So, the students will one by one read a 
phrases or their or a sentence in the story and I will task them to identify the the word if it is connecting in the flashcard and the storybook so by the help of flashcards they can learn slowly the words con inside the storybook and lastly my last implementation is the summative test so I retell the story then I give and and I will give the student a test by identifying the pictures inside the story and they will write it in their board in their paper in the paper then I will ask the students to retell the story they have read and I I and I will ask for the opinions and thoughts about the story. So, this is my research result. So, my, before I start the implementation, I conduct a pre-assessment checklist to, to assess the, the current student performance. Then, I after the implementation i have the post test trick links to check if there is an improvement in the student's performance so as we can see which is the in average they are deficient in performance but however in the after the implementation there is a great increase in their performance so in my conclusion, there are really a big impact of distant learning. Without proper guidance, the pupils are having hard time to learn, especially in reading. However, conducting this action research study, we're holding a week in class tutoring, there is a significant difference on the pupils' reading proficiency in English. So, this is my action research study entitled Enhancing English Language Reading Proficiency of Grade 2 Pupils in Guadalupe Elementary School by Weekend Chattering. So, thank you for listening and God bless. Bye-bye.